Okay, what's up y'all again? Um, Mr. and I just got back from Walmart and uh, getting some groceries. However, these groceries are for some of the dinners that I'm gonna make be making this week that I'll be sharing with you. So, I don't usually do grocery hauls, but some of you seem to really enjoy it, so I'm gonna start over here and show you what we got. Okay, to begin with, we got two gallons of milk, 2%. Mr. Drinks milk. I mean, we probably go through six of these a week. Um, I went ahead and got some um, egg noodles. I got four packs of those. I went to a store uh, recently, and for these egg noodles, it was like $3 and some odd cent. I got these at Walmart for $1.48, 58 something like that. Then I went ahead and got two boxes of the elbow noodles because like I said we eat a lot of pasta noodles stuff with uh, uh, I make either a um, I can't even think what it is that I make um, anyway pasta salad. pasta salad yeah thank you different ways I make it okay then we've got some vanilla wafers then uh, mister wanted some more raisins we put in like oatmeal and stuff I got the 15 bean soup because that's going to be one of the meals be at the really at the end of the week. Um, we don't really like Jiffy Mix. In fact, I threw away a bunch of them. Then I had to turn around. I got one because of a recipe that I'm going to be using that calls for that. But it calls for other things, so I don't think it'll be so bad. We can't per se eat, you know, put them in muffin pans and just eat Jiffy corn muffins straight up because they're too sweet. Then I got some breadcrumbs. I got some um, minced onions. Like I said, most of these go, you sure do eat strange. Well, the, most of these go with a mixture of stuff to make a meal. So I got some picante mild. I got some Dijon mustard. I've got some um, Italian dressing, uh, cheese and garlic seasoning. And we're gonna try this one. Here's another one, guys. This one called Pop Tarts uh, Brown Sugar Cinnamon, which means that I'll probably have to make a cup of coffee and just to, after I do this, just so I can taste this and see if it's good. Um, got a little package of Parmesan cheese, a pack package of sharp cheddar, two mixes. Again, these go into different recipes, a brown gravy mix, uh, some French fried onions, and then I got some... Um, carrots so I like to eat those just snack on those in the evening with some ranch and with some celery and uh, cucumbers and things like that I changed up my ice cream one of my neighbors is going to be going what yep I got cookies and cream ice cream I thought well I just needed a little bit of change kind of spruce things up so I went ahead and got this I hope I'm going to like it then we've got some uh, frozen Grand Biscuits, a um, bundle of egg, uh, eggs, that ain't eggs, that's onions, I don't know why I said eggs, I forgot eggs, see, shoot. Then I got a bunch of uh, carrots, so that way we will have carrots uh, with some of our meals, plus um, I think I got nine, um, also not only we're going to be eating, but um, Sammy, we, we mix it in his food as well. I got two containers of sour cream. I love sour cream. Um, one container of French onion dip. Then I got some more canned green beans for Sammy as well to add into his food. I only got one can of cream style of corn. That's also going to go into a recipe. I got some uh, herb seasoning cube stuffing. I got a big thing of uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast that I'm going to be using. I got a big package of this just because I've got several um, chicken recipes and stuff I'm going to be using at the end. Then we got the uh, beef hot dogs. Um, I'm missing something. Oh, guys, I knew it was. I got a can of sauerkraut to go with those those hot dogs. Uh, I got a container of beef broth. Also, we got some uh, bologna, the thick cut bologna. 
I love sweet peas, so I've got four cans of those. And then just to stock up, to put in our freezer, because um, we go through some butter. So I got five of those, and I think that's it. Yep, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and put up the cold stuff. We also stopped by Arby's and got us a ro roast beef sandwich because it is around lunchtime. So I'm going to wolf that down as well. But anyway, that's our grocery haul for today. Uh, it's not our typical stuff, but it's just stuff extras that um, I wanted to get because this week I'm going to be trying different recipes. We just want to eat something different. Don't you get that way? You just... You just need something different. Anyway, all right. Well, I'm off of here, and I'll see y'all in just a little bit after I eat my roast beef sandwich. All right, guys. I just got finished with the grocery haul. Mister has left and gone down the road because we're trimming. Some of the other neighbors are down there. A neighbor is down there. That no, was neighbors. Um, clearing out the sides of the road uh, so when it starts snowing and icing that we don't have that overhang that keeps it sh uh, shaded which takes longer for it to melt and stuff so anyway we got the groceries up uh, after I went through the grocery haul and again most of it as I said was just stuff that extras that I got it was expensive but extras that I got to uh, do some different meals Remember that I had the Pop-Tart brown sugar or cinnamon or brown sugar something. And let me tell you what. We were Pop-Tart eaters around here. I mean, most all the flavors with Pop-Tarts. And we like pop It would just give us a little, sometimes have a cup of coffee and a little Pop-Tart. I love Pop-Tarts. So when I saw this, because remember now, let's go back, that I've had, I don't know how many... Um, creamers that I've shared with you guys and they ended up being duds so I saw this one because my two favorite that I can't find is the cinnamon roll with sugar not the non sugar with sugar cinnamon roll with sugar I can't find it anywhere not locally let me put it that way the other one is the sugar cookies Ooh, I love that um, that creamer. Once again, can't find it anywhere. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if these companies say, you know what, let's just make up a bunch. We're all going to have the same ingredients in, and we might put a drop or two of cinnamon, a drop or two of whatever the flavor it says it is. And basically, they all taste the same. So... I've got my cup of coffee, like I told you, after I did the grocery haul, put up stuff that, you can see it, got me, can you all see it? I got me a cup of coffee, and I put the Pop-Tart brown sugar creamer in here. I took a sip in the kitchen, and I went, maybe I need to just add a little bit more. So I put a little bit more in here, and I'm going to tell you, let me just taste it one more time. Dud. And maybe some of y'all like it. I can't taste a pop tart, brown sugar pop tart in here. Like I said, we're kind of experts on pop tarts. This doesn't taste anywhere close in the ballpark of what a pop tart tastes like. I mean, you know, just a little bit. It don't have to taste like we're just eating an old pop tart, but this is dud. Like the rest of them are done. So I told Mr. I said, I don't know what else to get other than hazelnut. Just the old standby. But you know, sometimes you just want something different in it. You want a different flavor. And like I said, the ones that I really like, can't find them anywhere. I guess they go, well, those, those two are really selling out. You know what? We got all the rest of these. Let's just put a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know, put put this like a different flavor and they put it in the same container and they come up with something. Look, they don't taste good. Well, I'm going to quit complaining because I already talked about we got to quit complaining. I'm not complaining. 
I'm just letting you know how it is that this is dud. Factual. Dud. I'm still going to drink it because it's coffee. It tastes like coffee. I like coffee. I just like to have something in it that tastes good. Oh well. Well, now, I'll drink it while it's still kind of on the hot side. So now, I'm going to get my phone, which is in my pocket. Ta-da! And I'm going to bring up my, um, my book that I have been reading. And um, so far, it's really, really good. I So far, I'm in Chapter 7. And it has been very, so far, very enjoyable. And I don't know how to pronounce that guy's last name. Baldaka? Baldaka? I think it is. David Baldaka. Uh, this is the first time I've ever heard any of uh, his books or read any of his books and this one is called Long Road to Mercy. So far like I said I hope it don't have no Gradu stuff in it that's you know we shouldn't be reading. I hope not. I hope this is pretty much a suspenseful but an enjoyable uh, book to read. So I'm going to sit here with my coffee, the Dud coffee, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on while it's quiet here. I think I've got about everything done that I'm going to do today. And uh, I might go put on my pajamas. It's kind of getting, it's cloudy outside. And uh, you know what else I might do? Of course, it's not cold enough. Now, as I get later on, during the day, it's getting up at like in the 40s, high 40s for January. This is the end of January. We're going into February. So far, it's been a kind of a mild winter. I don't want to speak too much because I don't want... I don't want to be having cold, 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 but, but it has been getting cold, cold, um, in the evenings, and we had that one snap of, like, below zero temperatures, and, uh, whoo, our electric bill, but, anyhow, moving on, um, it's supposed to be getting cold tonight, so I probably will go ahead and start a fire just a little later, probably after I feed the critters, I feed the critters, what time is it now? My time is 148, so around 4 o'clock. I feed the critters and probably after that you know the temperature stopped dropping then I might go ahead and start a fire in the fireplace have my jammas on you remember them socks mister gave me he said they're for valentines so I'm probably put them on get, get comfy cozy get the fire started read my book sounds pretty good don't it so that's what I'm going I'm going to love on myself remember I talked about earlier that we need to love ourselves first. So I'm sure I'm loving myself right now. Okay. Well, let me get off here. Let me get to this reading. And just enjoy my afternoon. Hope y'all enjoy your afternoon. We'll talk later. Today, I'm going to give my hand at some um, baked chicken. And it's not your regular baked chicken. Just putting chicken in a casserole dish and throw it in there. This is, has some other ingredients that I want to share with you. Now, we did our grocery haul, and I had to because there were a lot of stuff that I didn't have that goes in to this recipe. So, I'm going to try to tell you what I'm putting in there, and I'll put it down in the description uh, below, if in case y'all were interested in it. So, anyway, um, this will be my first time and putting this together and I hope it's going to be something that we really like and that maybe in the future that we will eat again but you know the proof's in the pudding so to speak so when we get finished with it then uh, with it uh, cooking and then you know it's the taste test and then uh, we're going to have some other sides maybe some uh, green beans, maybe some rice. I'm just not sure right this moment, but as we go along, I'll be thinking about it in my head. So let's get on to it, and uh, I hope that you guys can see. Uh, first of all, I'm going to take a, I've got my casserole dish. I'm not sure what size this is. I can look at it and tell you in just a second. This is a, can't find it. Um, uh, it's a 2.2 quart dish, casserole dish. 
Yeah. Anyway, then I've got a bowl that I mix the stuff in. Now, what I've done is that I'm using the canned chicken and I've already poured out the juice and I poured the juice in this uh, measuring cup. So you open the cans of chicken and then pour your, your broth from it uh, into to something else. Now, once these chicken that's in the can comes usually in a, it's chunky. So what we're gonna do is that we're going to put it in the bowl and flake it up some. So. I hope this is gonna be big enough. We'll see. So anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of go through here and chunk this, I mean shred this chicken up with a fork. So I'm gonna make sure it's good and shred it so it'll spread throughout the, uh, the recipe uh, when I put it in the casserole dish. It doesn't take long, so we're pretty much there. Just got out the big, big, big chunks, right? So we did that, got out the big chunks. Now, next in the same bowl, um, we're gonna put a can of cream of chicken soup. So I've opened up the can of cream and chicken soup. So now I'm gonna add that in here with it. Really need a spoon for this. Hope I'm gonna like this. I hope both of us is gonna like it. Because there's a lot of things in this house that I like, Mr. Don, and vice versa. I need a spoon actually. Let me put this over there. So I'm gonna mix this up. Also in this, you're gonna have um, three fourths, and I've already measured this out, so you wanna take three fourths a cup of uh, mayonnaise. So I'm gonna put that in here as well. I hope it's Dukes, I didn't look. Mr. Likes JFG. I like Putting it in, in the cup is a lot easier than getting it out, I'm going to tell you. Okay, I've also poured one-third a cup of milk. So you add that in there as well. All this goes into the bowl, and then... You can use uh, salt and pepper to your liking. And so, I like pepper. I don't know about y'all, but I really like pepper a lot. I just think it gives it a, a good taste. Okay, I think that's good enough. Salt, maybe not so much of, because I'm going to be using the uh, cheddar cheese. And, you know, the cheese already has salt in it. So, anyway, we're going to mix this up really good. Okay, I think we're getting there, don't you? Now, you uh, put your oven on 370, which I've already put it on preheating, so it's already ready. I didn't uh, spray Pam or anything on the bottom because as you see, all this mayonnaise and stuff, it's got oils and stuff in it, so you don't need to do that. So now I'm going to pour it into the casserole dish. What do y'all think so far? Now, I'm not sure. Like I said, this is the first time we're trying this, so... So I'm going to spread this out. Now, what did I do with it? Oh, I've got the Pepperidge Farm 
This is the herb uh, seasoning, and you want some uh, season um, uh, stuffing. So what you're going to do is you're going to pour some. It really didn't say. I think it's more to your liking. And, and since it's got the herbs and stuff in it, I think that helps add to the flavor. Anyway, you're going to spread that out. So every bit of it is covered. Your chicken and stuff is covered. Okay. I think that's it, don't you? I'm going to kind of push it down in there a little bit. But it didn't say to do that, but that's what I'm doing. Okay. Then after that, you're going to pour... Um, some broth. Now this is the broth that came out of the chicken cans. So um, you're going to pour just a little bit over that. Um, so let me do that. So the, um, the cubes here, the stuff in here, you're pouring it over that and it's kind of soaking it up. Okay, there we go. Now after that, what you want to do is, well, if I get it open. You want to put a little bit of the um, cheddar cheese. Now I'm not going to put a whole lot on here. It doesn't really give you the instructions when I got this recipe as to how much. I think again it's to your liking. Well, I kind of like cheese, don't you? Well, we're going to put a little bit more cheese on here, that's all I got to say. I think that's going to be good. I wasn't going to put much, but I changed my mind. That's the women's prerogative, right? So you guys, if you're fixing this, I'm just sorry as I can be. You just put it up however how much you want on there. Okay. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to get some aluminum foil and you're going to cover it. And you're going to keep it covered and we're going to Make sure it's covered really, really well. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to put it in the oven. It's at 370. Remember, I've already preheated the oven. And for 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes, then I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to uncover it. And then I'm going to cook it another 15 minutes. So let me go ahead and go over here. Let me swing y'all around if I can. Mm, there we are. So we're crossing our fingers. This is going to taste good. Now for me, because I can be a bit uh, forgetful, I'm going to put it on a timer for 30 minutes. Okay. So, oh, kind of crooked, aren't you? Let me see if I can get you up here. So anyway, I put it in there for 30 minutes covered with aluminum foil. Uh, when the timer goes off, we're going to uncover it and then let it cook for another 15 minutes. We'll see. Are y'all crossing your fingers? Like I said, I'll put it in the description if you want to try it uh, below. And um, then I'm going to put together something. I think, uh, let me look. Oh, I wanted to let you know. I think I might have already if I have it I will I made up the menu list because mister and I want to uh, try some different things I think we just kind of got in the rut of, of what we fixed something's quick this and that but you know it was just I'm ready for some change I think he is too so anyway I made a menu you see here I think maybe y'all have already seen it but today actually was supposed to be Salisbury steak it's going to be in the crock pot, but it's made with hamburger. And I didn't get the hamburger today. 
Do we have hamburger in the freezer, honey? We sure do. Well, we're gonna yeah. lay out some hamburger tonight. If you don't, if you can't, don't forget that, honey. Um, we'll lay out some hamburger tonight. So we're swapping up these two days. So we're doing Tuesday's meal on Monday, and then tomorrow we'll um, I'll video again how we do the um, Salisbury steak with hamburger in the crock pot. But anyway, so I'll probably have sides today with the chicken is, uh, I don't know if you remember the, the um, well, you don't because I haven't put it up yet. I got the grocery haul to make these recipes this week. So in the uh, grocery haul, um, I tried to get everything and we did forget some things. But anyway, um, I hope y'all join me the rest of the week as we do these different recipes. Now, there is one day, and you're going, Sheila, it's just the two of you, and you're going to have all these recipes? Yeah, but then I have one day. Let me see what day that is. It's probably, I think it's Saturday. Saturday, I've got leftovers. So leftovers, we can kind of clean out the, um, the refrigerator. And if not, then um, I'll invite my son over so and help eat it up. But anyhow, so it, I'm going to go sit down and uh, drink maybe, I think I'm going to get a Sprite. And I'm going to sit down, wait for the 30 minutes. Uh, what I was telling you, I forgot. See how I go down rabbit trails? Is that I'm going to fix some carrots. And um, so I bought all the carrots uh, on the grocery haul. And uh, some potatoes. So we'll have some potatoes and carrots with this chicken. I hope this tastes good, but we'll see. We'll video mine and Mr.'s first bite. And if we go like this, y'all know, hey, I better try that. So we'll see. I'll see y'all in just a little bit. Okay, guys, here it is. I kind of mixed it all together. Then we have some potatoes. So I haven't tried it yet. I hope I like it. I've never made this kind like this before. So I went by the directions to the T, so we'll see.